Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the general weekly reading for the Sagittarius. So this is just a general reading. Um, for this week, I'm going to give you a letting go of the past reading. Okay, um, this is going to be for May the 9th and then ending um, May the 16th of 2016. So this is going to be a five card spread. Um, card number one is going to be what you need to discard. Okay. Um, so this is what you should just get rid of. Card number two is um, the block. You know, what is blocking me? What or who? Um, card number three is what action you should take. Card number four is what you should avoid. And then card number five is what you should accept. All right, so I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more. Um, this reading may not resonate with all of you Sagittarians. If you want a more personalized, more in-depth reading, um, contact me at my website. I do offer 30-minute, one-hour, two-hour, three-hour readings as long as it takes. <laughs> all right within limits okay because I do have a schedule all right so okay so Sagittarians your first card that you got this is what you want to throw away and these are things that, just to remind you guys, these are things that you're already thinking in your mind. It's just hidden somewhere deep in your subconscious and there's a blockage. Um, what you need to discard, you got the Five of Swords. So this is conflict. Okay? That's definitely what the Five of Swords is about. You know, conflict of perception also for a lot of you Sagittarians. This is someone who cheats, who's dishonorable who uses unfair tactics, a cruel person, who enjoys the suffering of others, a braggart. So the five of swords, you know, there's someone in your life. It could stand for, you know, a friend, a relative, or it could be you. This could be a part of yourself or an aspect of yourself, a conflict within yourself that gets projected out that, you know, you need to take care of. Um, card number two is what you need to block. And you got the seven of pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles. Um, it's about manifestation, but it's something about it. Okay, the young witch practices her spells in the factory garden, sticking a tree with a rusty nail. She evaluates the growth of her skill. Seven Pentacles bloom from the once dead branches. So, this is about developing skills. Growth in one's ability, taking a moment to reflect on progress made. And I'm going to say that this symbolizes your impatience, your doubt in your own ability. Okay. Um, also, you want to block, you know, any disruption of progress. You want to make it more productible or not productible. <laughs> Productive. Okay. Um, card number three is what action you need to take, how to proceed, how to proceed, and you got the three of swords. So when you look at the definition, I'm sorry, not the definition, but the illustration of the three of swords, there's someone there broken hearted. So I, I get the sense there's some sort of um, love triangulation, definitely. And whatever it is, you're not happy with it. And um, so the best thing to do is to just sever the tie. Um, there's three knives stuck in your chest. This symbolizes your heartache. You know, maybe someone else's heartache. I think it really represents yours. Um, the three of swords can mean all sorts of things. It definitely denotes that there's, um, you know, some some someone, there's... What's the word that I'm looking for? There's some sort of either an outsider or something. This person just, you know, there's a conflict within that, within that sword. You know, and it's funny because when you look at the illustration, the two 
swords in the shadow of the wall. They look like two people coming out the side of this woman. Almost like they're trying to be reborn through her or something. It's really weird. They look like really nasty spirits though. I don't know. I get the sense that this stands for some trio. Okay. Some sort of collaboration. Three of um, swords can literally mean that you're getting ready to, you know, leave a situation. You're unhappy with the situation. It's about heartbreak, separation. So you need to separate. Is your next is your next action is separation. Your next card is what you need to avoid. You got the King of Cups, so this is a literal person. This is some sort of emotional man. Um I mean he may not the only thing I can think of is that it's a literal person. It could be you. I think this stands for a separate person. It could be man, woman, whoever, brother, sister, cousin. <laughs> the King of Cups is saying to avoid a certain person that is literally ruled by their emotions. Because the King of Cups is ruled by his emotions. Your final card is what to accept. And you did get the Hermit. And I think what this card is saying, you know... You want to enjoy your own company before anyone else can. And that is in any kind of situation, you know. So the hermit is sort of like this alone time that you're literally already going through. So this is really good news because it's a very spiritual card. This is a major life event. So you're going to close out the week with this. And it's going to make you a lot stronger. Being alone makes you stronger. And I think that's going to be a major life event for you is that you know what doesn't kill you is going to make you stronger all right that's going to do it for this week um if you again if you want to personalize more in-depth read and contact me on my website this video is brought to you by www.thedivinemommy.com and thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe thumbs up this video as well as leave a comment have a great week bye